Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm back with um, my oldest granddaughter again when she was probably two or maybe not quite. Her and her daddy are walking through uh, the woods or one of the parks and um, my daughter had printed this out in sepia and it's hard to tell but he's walking with a little tiny walking stick like he was trying to maybe get her to use it <laughs> and it's just so adorable she's got on a great big baseball cap and just adorable and I am using the 49 and market serenity wanted to say tranquility serenity again and I'm also going to be using the little letters from um, it's Simple Stories Color Vibe and it's the wood, let's see, it's they're called woods and what one am I using here? Okay, it's this one here. So I'm just using this up here and I am just going to be writing daddy on this like book plate and I am going to actually show you how it all started. Oh and I'm also going to, going to be using these um, EK Success architecture and these are, it says that they're glass but they, they feel like plastic to me, I don't know. but. I'm going to be using them. They're kind of a wonky square. But I wanted to keep this as sepia as possible. So I'm going to kind of show you how I built it. And then I'll pause, put it together, and then show you what I did. So, um, like the other day when I did the one of her sister, I started with... I just, you know, I chose my paper, and again, I chose the paper. Mm, feel the sneeze coming on. And then I went right over to the um, laser cuts because I wanted to use this lace. So I'm going to put it in here kind of like this. And so I actually just left it on here while I was designing the rest of it and I'm going to have it kind of come up a little bit over here so I'm going to do the same thing over here just have it a little bit bigger so I'm actually going to cut it right about here and I'll still have enough that I can do one later So I'm going to put it in here at kind of an angle and then I wanted some leafy pieces. So I chose this one because I'm trying to stick towards the sepia and then I had decided on the tickets and I'm just going to use one because the other one won't even show and I'm sticking that right here and I had decided that I would not mat this so far in my um, when I was planning and then um, I chose some more leaves that I figured I'd just stick right about there and it, it kind of was all sitting wonky just like I have it here okay and then um, I decided I wanted to use one of the little buttons so I put this somewhere in amongst these leaves and then I also chose one of these stamps and I thought I would just kind of stick it in amongst the leaves here and so I'm still staying all towards the colors that are so much like the picture. 
And then um, I thought, oh, this is really pretty, so I thought I would add that. Oh, and I forgot to get some kind of ribbon for it. And so I figured I would tuck this in maybe somewhere here. So then I had to kind of slide everything because I don't want to um, cover up the picture too much. So then I also kind of um, pulled everything down a little bit more once I added that. So now I've got this down here, so I am going to bring up this button. And when I get done, I may cut off some of this too. Okay, and then um, I decided I'd put a butterfly over here because we do have one little butterfly here. Oh, and when I chose this, there's like a little bit of blue here and a little bit of blue here. But I just thought I'm going to ignore it, just kind of do the sepia. And, um, oh, and this, I will probably have the photo straight. And then um, I brought another butterfly over here. And then I actually pulled in another butterfly down here that was also in the sepia color. But um, I end up doing something where I change it. But just for showing you how I got to this point. Okay, and then I decided I was going to have this butterfly up here, but I thought, oh, I'm going to find something else so that um, this isn't right up against that. So I found this piece, and it was in the laser cuts. And so I'm going to tuck that in here, kind of pull this further down, and then put the butterfly on there. And then um, I found this little heart also in this, in the gray tone. It's like grays and sepias. And then I found this remember when. I thought, oh, that's cute. So I kind of put that in there. And then I decided, oh, um, I found this other piece that says right beside me. I thought, oh, that's cute because, you know, they're right beside each other. And then um, I decided I was going to use Daddy right beside me. And I was going to do Daddy and me, but then it's like um, I liked it better to be Daddy right beside me. So that's, I went ahead with that. And I'm going to put that on that little book plate. And then I'm going to put the right beside me here. And then I decided I would stick this someplace else. So I contemplate it up here or over here. So that I haven't really decided yet, but I've got always here. Right beside daddy right beside me always remember when so I don't know, I'm even kind of, do I want to keep it or do I not want to keep it? I mean, she's 17 now, so it'd be, remember when fit is fitting. Okay, and then I thought, oh, maybe I should mat it. And that's when I pulled out this piece and I thought, okay, I could kind of use that as matting. So that's when I bring this in and <laughs> Everything kind of goes wonky. I want some of the postage to show the postage marks here. So I thought I would leave it up kind of. Maybe even kind of tilt it a little more this way. So that you're seeing more of this here. So you see that it's an envelope. And then I thought, oh, maybe I want a little more in there. So then I pulled out this piece and tuck this in. Now if I use this I will cut some of it off. And so then you have um, another blue butterfly showing. So I have this blue and this blue and that's why I decided to put in this butterfly. Oops, I totally knocked everything over. So that's when I changed the butterfly to blue here because that way I have a triangle of blue. I also have um, 
if I use this someplace, I will have a triangle of words. So I'd have daddy right beside me always. Remember this or remember when. So I'm not sure if I want it here or over here. I kind of like it where it's not really so noticeable. So I'm kind of thinking down here and also because I have more lighter colors over here so that would bring a little more light color here. So this is what I'm thinking and then uh, I'm going to fill my paper that I had that all sitting on. And so I even thought about this but I think it's too dark. I think I would have to pull in a brown. This is like maybe it's a navy or a black. So I thought about that. I actually had it laying it with it for a long time, but then if I do decide to use that one of these, I will look for one that's more brown. So I've got blue, 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 and then I've got some lighter shades of the sepia tone, and I've got lots of sepia tone, you know, here and there. So I'm thinking that, and then that's why I chose these because I was thinking about using these blues, but I really kind of want it to stay more sepia. Oh, and I really liked these ones here, but I only have seven. So that was a consideration, just using those seven, just because they are they kind of look like water, but sepia color. So that's why I thought, well, maybe just go ahead with this. It would be clear. So that's where I'm at right now. And I think I will go get a piece of ribbon if I have one that's sepia color. And I might switch this out if I have sepia color. Otherwise, I might skip it all together. So I'm going to pause and get this glued down. But I kind of wanted to show you how I built it. I mean, I started with the one piece and just kept adding until I got to where I thought, yep, that's that's how I want it to look. In fact, I think I want this kind of a little more angled here. So probably a little more like that. But um, I'll get it glued down and I'll be right back. Okay, I haven't glued anything down yet. I just wanted to um, stop and tell you that I um, went over a few of the edges on some of the things with the Vintage Photo Distress Ink. And so you can see the difference here where I went around this. This part isn't going to show and I think I'll probably cut this off here because I can always use that for something else. But you can just see how it makes it look um, not so uniform. And then I also went ahead and went over like the edges of this lace because it did bother me that it was all so uniform is what I want to say. And so I hit a little bit of some of the other edges. I actually started out with this piece because that's when I really thought, oh, it, it looks just like the other piece. So I did go over these edges a little and then I just touched these edges slightly. And then um, I also went over a few of the other things too, like this, where I just went over the edges. So that's where I'm at right now, and I will get things glued down, and I'll be right back. Okay, I have everything glued down, and I also went around and just kind of hit some of the edges here and there. I don't think I hit every edge all the way around. Some of them I kind of hit. Um, a little further, you know, further in. Um, this side looks like I almost hit the whole thing, but, but some places I did not hit it with the um, distress ink. And so this is how much I cut off the bottom of this envelope. Well, it's a faux envelope. And this is how much I cut off the bottom of this. So, um, because there was lots of places that were hit, going to be hidden. So, um, that's how I left that. Um, I did put this on crooked and this straight. Um, I pulled up some of these and I pulled up some of these edges also 
and this here. Oh, and this, it was so funny because um, here's my bag of brown ribbon. This is how I keep my ribbon. I don't know if I, I think I showed people that. And then um, I was actually kind of looking for this one, but it's kind of green, so I wouldn't have used that. But I found this little scrap, and it's all um, wonky and everything, but it's like that's exactly what I wanted, so that's perfect. And so that's it. I think it was 2007, but I'm not for sure, so I need to check that, and then I'll put the date on here. But I just thought it turned out perfect. I love it. So thank you for joining me. I will have close-ups at the end. And I'll be back tomorrow with something. See you then. Bye-bye.